Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, we're starting here. I'm Damian Borba. I work on the XD team, Adobe XD team here in San Francisco. And I'm here with... Sally, Sally. Harrison. Who are you, Sally? Uh, what do you do? <laughs> What's your background? Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm traditionally a graphic... Started out as a graphic designer. Uh, got a degree in it and then kind of transitioned into photography a little bit and art direction and then uh, now I do a lot of UX and digital. Nice and you're from where do you live? Philly originally. (laughs) The cheese steak. Yeah Yeah, I I remember remember that. (laughs) Cheese steak. Yeah Yeah. cool and you live where do you live now? Now I live in Los Angeles. Awesome. And what what what's the, the the kind of work you do today? Can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, I work um, right now. I run my own design studio, and I sometimes contract for other different advertising agencies or tech companies. Um, I do a combination of like UX, and then sometimes I'll do art direction for like oh, photography nice. and stuff as well. I feel like they all blend kind of with each other as yeah. well. That's so cool. Yeah. NLA LA is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Southern yeah. California, San Diego, LA, like beautiful places. Oh, yeah. Awesome people. Yeah. Uh, in different places, people are like super stressed out and they're like everyone is relaxed and having a good time. It's a different vibe. Awesome. So what's the plan for today? What are we going to be doing here? Yeah. So I'm doing... I you kinda... actually. I'll be like bothering you with questions <laughs> and feedback. Yeah. 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 Uh, I wanted to do an app for hiking because I feel like everybody kind of, well first of all it's confusing, like there's a couple good websites but there's no app uh, that's like simple and clean and that you can download, so like because when you go hiking you have a Wi-Fi and you kind of are just stranded, so um, I wanted to kind of bridge like having a paper map and having a digital map and then having something like clean to navigate like different hikes and trails and nice. yeah and nice. there's a lot of hiking i feel like in la and in san oh, francisco seen, i i try to go to the 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 hollywood sign like yeah i couldn't get to it it's, it's like blocked now oh yeah they changed it i think it was like yeah. oh. that's like yeah. a ongoing battle is is there like a hidden path there like a hike yeah there? there's Let's like other ways and that's what this app would <laughs> help you figure out awesome <laughs> Awesome, wonderful. Uh, let's see if we have questions. Again, this is really for you guys. So if you have any questions along the line, along the other presentation, please ask. Uh, I'm keeping an eye here. So far, so good. Awesome. Someone saying the music's a little loud. It's okay. Cool. Wonderful. So what tool are you going to be using to do that? Yeah, so I started with... Um, or or tools, s- yeah. Yeah, I started with some sketches already. I don't know if we can... Can we show, show the, the sketch here on uh, the table? <laughs> oh, we need but I cameraman. Just <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is that the camera? Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah. so this is um, just kind of went through like different points that I wanted to address in the app and kind of all the different categories and things and so, um, cool. so you always start like that on paper yeah I think awesome. it helps or like a kind of whiteboard with like a expo marker or things like that or even in a group like collaborating with a lot of other people that's like the initial that's great process. I remember I remember yeah. reading a, a Stanford uh, research article saying that if you write things on paper your brain operates a lot different. Like you can activate a lot more things, and it becomes a more like strong thing. So yeah, that's great. Science also proves it. <laughs> Science. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just kind of went through the user flow and um, kind of what I'm looking for. Is it for iOS, for Android, for both? A web mobile uh, version? For both, but right now just maybe iOS. Sticking awesome. with that. Um, awesome. Yeah. Awesome, let's see it. So, but yeah, I normally start kind of with paper, then I'll go to uh, XD, or sometimes I use Sketch, or it depends to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I work for prefer Illustrator sometimes, which nice. I don't recommend, but. Uh, why not? <laughs> uh, it's just not as friendly, because uh, 
like your boards aren't as clean, things don't snap. Oh, really? Kind of, wow, uh, so let's write that feedback down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so another great point like there, uh, a lot of people are asking us like, is XD kind of trying to replace Illustrator or Photoshop? And the, the clear answer to that is no, because we see XD as this hub for UX design. So if you really need very complex bitmaps, you go to Photoshop and then you bring right. them in, in, in XD. And then same thing for very complex vectors in Illustrator. You do that in Illustrator, copy and paste into XD and everything works. So that's the plan. Got yeah. it. Awesome. Yeah, so Photoshop works too. I've designed digital stuff in Photoshop. Awesome. Um, oh, so I guess we can start real quick with like my process because I love organization, but then I work messy and then I'll like clean it up later. Nice wallpaper. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. What's that? I made that. Oh, nice. <laughs> How'd you do it? Um, I found some like algorithm that actually makes like all these different vectored grids and you uh, put a photo behind it and it will like select all the colors. Oh. And then I like messed with it and duplicate it and yeah. Wait, so. What's the name of it? Is there, do you remember the name of the... Oh, no. Oh, it was many, many years ago. Okay. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, that was like a series I did a long time ago. You can try um, to do that with re repeat grid in XD in my work. We can try. Yeah, go ahead. You're probably awesome. good. Um, so this is just kind of like basic folder structure. Okay. I'll start with like a folder and I always try and have like a good assets folder for everything in there. Some inspiration. I always kind of start with grabbing a ton of inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, you can kind of go through and see. Nice. And then I'll have a file for like all my designs, like the actual XD files. Um, and yeah. How, how'd you get there? What was your like iteration process to get to it? It was like something you learned? Is your company doing that? Is it yourself? Like, how do you organize? How you got to that point? I know you'll, you'll keep iterating and making it better and better, but how'd you get to that point? Uh, just, I think by working at every company has their own different structure or no structure at all. Okay. So I think it's just from jumping around and learning. As a designer, do works. you like structure or you prefer yeah. more loosely like? I like structure, but I think it's taught, it's taught over time and you kind of get used to it. Uh, it's some things, yeah. As, as, <laughs> as we build XD, we, we keep debating like if we need to help people organize everything and at the same time we don't want block designers from kind of introducing all these steps that they could have to have to to do something so it's a it's a constant debate mm. that's why i'm interested yeah i think yeah different people like different things and maybe creating something so everybody can do awesome what they want but uh yeah so let's open up XD. Adobe XD, you can get it at xd.adobe.com xd and download it. It's it's free for now. <laughs> and you can download it and start using it right now. It's available for Windows and Mac. They are both the same. There's like a small little difference. I can talk about it later, but every pretty much 99% <laughs> of, of them are the same. And if you have questions along the line, please let us know. So no questions. Nathan is telling XD to remain simple, and that's the goal. We have guiding principles, and one of them is let's 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 keep it uh, lightweight and approachable. So we're gonna keep that cool. All right. So you're creating a document there. Yeah. So. And you have questions or feedback on XD? Please tell me, and I can <laughs> bring that back to the team. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I like kind of know XD a little bit, but I'm sure there's a lot of like shortcuts and tricks that you awesome. could help me with. Oh, totally. And same for you guys watching live. If you have any feedback or questions or things that are not working or burning questions regarding the future of XD, let, it, let me know. And if I can, I'll answer. If not, I'll pretend I didn't see <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no. I'll try to answer. Yeah. So right now I'm just gonna go through and quick. Um, Where are you guys watching from?
Oh, and another point, very important point, will be uh, checking Twitter with hashtag Adobe Live. So if you create a prototype using XD and you share that on Twitter using hashtag Adobe Live, we'll be giving away a one year all apps Creator Cloud subscription. So you'll be able to access all apps for one year and that's awesome. So in less than two hours, we'll be deciding who wins and good luck with everyone. So just share the prototype. You created at least three screens and yeah, I'll be checking Twitter to see what's happening there. All right, there's a person, Kesley's from South Africa. Hey, Brazil, Cristiano, fala Cristiano, beleza? Uh, another Alexander, Brazil também. Uh, Vicky, India, hey there. Oh my God, it's so cool. Abu Dhabi, New York, all over the world. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. And any questions? Any uh, does Adobe want to replace Photoshop completely with Adobe XD for UI UX design? Again, I, we just talked about that. As uh, Sally makes progress here, I'll answer that question. The way we see XD is really the main hub for UX design. So designers will be able to use XD to create designs, create prototypes, share, get feedback, go back to the designs, make all those changes. But if you really need complex bitmaps, you go to Photoshop. If you really need complex vectors, you go to Illustrator. Then you bring those assets back to XD. Today you have to copy and paste, but we're doing a lot of work on Creative Cloud libraries. So very soon we'll be able to bring those things, those assets into XD very easily and keep them connected, which is really cool. So if you change them in Photoshop or Illustrator, everything would change in XD. Oh, nice. Uh, Chile, will XD interface with After Effects for micro interactions? We're also talking to the to After Effects team. Uh, we're doing a lot of progress there. Micro interactions is a bigger problem. It's a bigger uh, challenge. And we're, we're running multiple prototypes to get there. <laughs> We'll eventually get there, but for now we're focusing on short term, like uh, a lot of investment on Creative Cloud libraries, bringing those assets, design systems, and more. We already have some smaller updates in terms of micro interactions. Like for example, you can copy and paste interactions in prototype mode, and that's that's there today. Uh, and you'll see more and more coming coming next, coming up next. Hi from Toronto, Chile, hey, South Africa, all over the world. This is great. All right. Oh my God, you had so many artboards. Just <laughs> like one second. Yeah, I'm just kind of trying to roughly go through all the different boards I want and... Can I give you a tip on that? Yeah. You can do that on the layers panel and you can hit tab and you jump, you just double click on one to rename it. Okay. On attacks, for example. And now hit tab, tab again, and you can jump through all the artboards. So he oh. renames the artboards and says, and shift tab goes up, because it goes back. That's cool. Okay. Nice. And you can use emojis there too, so you can <laughs> make like green, red, if you want to. Oh, I might have to do that. Awesome. <laughs> Say hello for Brazil. Follow Will, beleza? I want live session. Oh, cool. Jamie, well, this. Cool. All right, so contest requirements. We have technically two contests going on. The first one is like within two hours, we're checking Twitter to see who's sharing prototypes with hashtag Adobe Live, at least three screens. And then by the end of this two hour session, we're gonna give away a one year Creative Cloud subscription, all apps, which is amazing. And there's another one if you share something with hashtag make it impactful and Chris can share more details there on uh, or actually Gus can post the link to the second ongoing uh, challenge that we have. So both great opportunities to learn, uh, grow and, and, and win something. Thanks Gus. Yeah, there's a, and the theme is shopping. That's important. Yeah, for the, the two hour contest that we're doing now for the CCA uh, license, the theme is shopping. Lots of Brazilian people. I'm from Brazil, so. <laughs> Fala, galera. Beleza? <laughs> Muito legal ver todo mundo aí do Brasil. Uh, all right. Julia, I won the Adobe Creative Library in XD. 
Yeah, you do have partially that now. Uh, can I show my screen for a second just to show her that? All right. So today you can create uh, colors and character styles and more things in, in from Photoshop and Illustrator. And you can add that to your Creator Call library. The first step that we did towards that direction, you can consume those assets in XD. So if you go to File, Open CC Libraries, then here you can access, for now, colors and character styles. So for example, I can go to, let's see, uh, this guy here, Command click to direct select it. Then I can apply that character style that came from Photoshop or Illustrator in XD. And you can do the same thing with colors. So that's already available and the next step is bringing bitmaps from Photoshop so you'll be able to create bitmaps, add to your library in Photoshop and consume them in XD. And the cool thing is when that's ready, if you change things in Photoshop, you'll update in real time in XD. Awesome, thanks, cool. Can you go back to our design? Awesome. So what's Sweet. happening now? So just like a really basic step-by-step -step, uh, kind of user flow mm -hmm. um, and all the different screens I kind of want to do and um, I like numbering them which can be a little bit uh, easier just to go through. Uh, nice. Yeah. So and that helps also like with exporting, right? If you export all the assets as PNGs or PDF it helps keep things organized, right? Because it exports all the PNGs with those names there. And then if they have, if the first one is 03 and the last one is 01, it's gonna break the order. Yeah. Totally, yeah. So I guess when they all export, they'll be all in order, which is- Awesome. Yeah, that's the way to go. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna start putting in some notes about like each screen maybe and kind of Say that again, what I sorry? want to do, I'm gonna look for, start putting in like different notes for each screen above. So. Oh, nice, cool. That's great. Yeah, so you can use the pasteboard in XD to add notes and anything that doesn't get exported, it's just for the designer. And I, I've seen designers organizing, because different than other tools, XD can handle hundreds of, art, of artboards and then you can have all the artboards within the same viewport, within the same canvas. So that's good. You can have multiple areas of your canvas with pieces of. All right, so there's a question from Envi, Child Harry, Michael, any update on fixed header and footer feature? Yes, we're working on it. <laughs> and you can go on adobexd.uservoice.com to be notified when that changes. We're doing the work to make that happen as we speak. It's a huge challenge because it needs to work on Mac, Windows, and it also needs to work on the web, on mobile. So this is whole eco ecosystem that needs to be consistent. And it has not just work, but it's work really well. Speed, performance is one of our guiding principles and we wanna keep that as, as fast as possible. So we're doing the work for it and it will land sometime next year. Uh, oh, thank you. Yuri said he saw some videos. Good, thank you. Yeah, let us know if you have feedback on that and how we can make it even better for you guys. Julia is asking, can XD do responsive design? The short answer for now is almost. You have to really create multiple artboards, one for mobile, one for web and then resize the elements. We're also investigating different options to make that easier for, for people. Uh, but the short answer for, for that is no. Uh, actually, if you have feedback or specific details on that, you can go to adobext.uservoice.com, look for that uh, responsive and adaptive design and add your comments there. Hoyle, the PM on that, will be super happy to hear your feedback. Um, one thing I kind of need help with is maybe you guys can help. I haven't really figured out uh, what to call this app. Oh, nice. So if anybody has ideas or... Can you do like a 30 second pitch for people to come up with a name? What's, what's it Ooh. about? Yeah, um, so it's a hiking app and it helps people like navigate and find things 
more easily and simply. Uh, so that's kind of it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So another kind request: if you can come up with a name, let's let's uh, hear some options, and Sally will pick up a name. Oh, there's a guy from Taiwan or girl, girl, Chia. Hey, Chia. Uh, let's hear what you got. Cool. Hike it. Hike it. Hike it? Yeah. Ooh, kind of like the It movie that like, just came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary, yeah. Would that remind people of clowns? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Though. Haiku. Ooh. That's interesting too. Cool. I'll keep, I'll save those names. So let me open up app here. The hiker. Haiku. How's haiku spelled? Like the. H I oh, a, yeah. a, no sorry H A I K U. That's cool. Hiker. Scavenger. Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> Scavenger. Peak. How great names. He hiker would do. I don't even know how to say that. Hiker hiker do. <laughs> <laughs> Backpacker. I <Okay>. hike, yeah. <laughs> but then that doesn't work on Android. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Pathfinder 4000. That's really techy. It's kind of awesome. Then the new version is 5000. All right, uh, let's see if there are more questions. Trail mix. Oh my god, that's <laughs> great. That's all I want when I hike, so that's great. Trail <laughs> fine. <laughs> I have one. Get lost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hiked. That's cool. All right, uh, Nils is asking if SXD is fully compatible with SVG. And all I can say is XD is really good with SVG. You can bring SVG and it will work super nice. Even things that are not supported yet in terms of creation, for example, radio gradients. You can bring an SVG with a radio gradient into XD from Illustrator or just copy and paste, let's say from the Noun project or even Sketch. Just right click, copy SVG and paste into XD and you can, you can still have that and if there is a gradient uh, with radio gradient there, you can also change that in XD now. Alexander Diaz, is XD only for mobile? No, XD is for any kind of design that has uh, a screen as a component. It could be it could be a web design, it could be uh, a mobile web web design, it could be a mobile app. It could be a kiosk, it could be dashboards. We have companies using XD to test dashboards for cars, which is super cool. Awesome. Getting some notes. Yeah, just doing all the boring No, that's stuff, good, that's good. But uh, I think it just helps to e take time to really go through all the process and think it through before you jump into actually designing. Wonderful. And again, if you have feedback on it, something that's not working, please let, let, let me know. Yeah. What is the biggest challenge that you guys have today when you design? Let's say a website. I think it would be kind of cool to include notes in the prototype in case there was something you wanted to explain to the viewer. That's a great point, Selena. And there is a kind of a way to do that. Uh, let me see here if I can show you that in action. Uh, let me go back to here and I'll share a link. So I have my design. Can they see my screen there? Wonderful. I'm creating a link with this mobile design. And let's say I want to present to 
a stakeholder or someone that needs to know more information about it. Again, not the ideal way, but there is a way. So you just go here, you create a link, then you copy the link, then you go to your browser, or you click here, but I'll go to the browser because I'm using Safari. Then here you can sign in. So I will sign in with my email. And here you can add comments to all of the screens. So here I'm, I'm on the first screen. I can say, please make this, I don't know, like black. And then you can even pin something to it. So anyone that's seen this web link can reply to it, can add more notes, can have questions. Oh, I didn't understand that. And you can go from there. And then later on, you can resolve, you can delete, you can even edit that. So it's all here uh, in the web link. HPS, Hiking Positioning System. Ooh. It's almost like a real technology. Can you switch back yeah. to Yeah. Thank you. Um. I think I like HPS a lot. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'll save it here too. Hiking positioning. Wonderful Bigfoot. <laughs> cool. All right, Will is asking if it syncs with Envision and Zeppelin. Uh, this short answer is you can do prototypes in XD, so you can do your designs, then you just click on the prototype, start creating your prototype, and then you can share, just like I showed you, to get feedback and, and, and collect all the feedback to iterate. And once it's time to work with developers, for now, we don't have anything public, but we're doing all the work for this feature called Design Specs, and we demoed that at Max last year, so we'll be able, the same way you can share a link to a prototype, you'll be able to share a link to a Design Spec. And there, we'll be able to the, the, your developer doesn't even need to, to have XD. You just go there and you can grab measurements, colors, text, and all those things. Question yes. for you. So for the repeat grid mm -hmm. kind of function, it's kind of taking my line and like squishing it. And Oh, because you're using a stroke, right? Yeah. So if you can do a rectangle for that, that would be That's better. better. Yeah. Okay. We're doing the work to have more options for stroke, but because it's always centered, it's kind of cutting off like the, the cutting out the, the other part gotcha. so do a rectangle and use your repeat grid okay I'll do that and also that's also it's also helpful when you need to align that uh, to the pixel grid so if you have anything in XD that has like say a rectangle that's X X position is something 0.5 you can right click on it and say uh, align to pixel grid and it will mm. snap to the pixel grid so it it, that 0.5 goes away and it's it's perfect. Okay, and yeah. do you guys have like rulers or any type of thing where I could see like the inch marks? Not yet, not yet. Yeah, okay. uh, again, if, <laughs> if you need that guides and rulers, you can go to user voice and upvote there as soon as it's, it's there. It's in the roadmap and we're gonna get to it, but it's not there yet. What gotcha. you can do as a workaround, if you want guides, for example, you can draw a line mm. and lock it, right click lock, oh, and then okay. everything snaps to it. Ooh, that'll yeah. work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's see if there are more questions. Are you using a Wacom? Wacom. Am I? Yeah. There's no, a question there. I should. I have carpal tunnel, so like a Wacom makes it worse. Oh, cool. <laughs> I yeah. I I'm kind of I have a developer background, so I kind of gave up on the even the mouse, but. I need to get back to it. What do you use then if you don't the, use either? The, the trackpad, yeah. Oh. And shortcuts everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, another thing that you, you're doing that, it's super cool, like for a hamburger menu or something, but a lot of people want, for example, dashed lines, and they, they don't have dashed lines, but they can use the repeat grade to do one dash and then just do all the others. Yeah, I always like making all my symbols kind of not by letters, but well, it depends. Cool. But this one, I used the rectangles like you nice. kind of mentioned, yeah. Another thing that might help you if you want to, uh, because you're creating 
one element that will be reused, you can convert that to a symbol. Mm. And that will show up here in your symbols panel. And how do you how do you use the symbols? I haven't yeah. really No, that's perfect. You <laughs> click there and then you just select the element you have and click plus here on the symbol. So now you have that symbol and you can drag nice. and drop so you can reuse it in different screens. And if you change one, it'll change everything. Okay. You can copy and paste there, that's the same thing. No. Yeah, there you go. I wonder if there's a shortcut for like seeing just this artboard because I know Command O. Command three. It's Command three. Yeah, select okay. select the artboard by clicking on its title and Command three. Nice. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and last cool. How do you do menu fixed? Yeah, Berg. We don't have fixed elements yet, so. Unfortunately, that's that's something you have to fake somehow, but we're working on it and you'll end sometime next year. Uh, all right. Sorry, what is this program about? There's a question there. So XD is one tool, a brand new tool from Adobe where you can design high fidelity designs, low fidelity designs, wireframes. And then you can jump to prototype mode very easily, one click, and then you can wire screens, you can create prototypes and you can share that as a web link, as a video, and then you can get feedback, go back to your designs, make all the changes, and everything is one frictionless workflow. Is there a copy in all Canvas shortcut? Not yet. Yeah, but again, you can totally file that in user voice, adobexd.uservoice.com, and if more people vote on it, we can totally make it happen. Is it free? John is asking. So far, yes, you can get it for free. It's beta, but beta doesn't mean it's not ready. All the features that are there are final. They have a very high quality, super stable. It's a very special kind of beta, and you can download it now. Just go to xd.adobe.com or go to your CC app, your Creative Cloud app, and look for experience design. Daniel is asking, this is slightly off the subject, what kind of education courses should I take to become a UX, UI designer? Wow, what, you, what would you say? Um, hmm, it depends. Well, I know in most big cities in the United States, there's Gen General Assembly, which is like a really good one I recommend. That's, that's true. Um, and yeah. they do like intensive classes for a couple months or Ashley Carr or next guest was a women teacher oh really oh, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I took some of general assemblies UX classes and really enjoyed them and would recommend them a lot and they do workshops and like day intensives and yeah they should probably just have me be their <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah that's true but um, yeah today is like so easy to learn anything right like there's yeah. so much content out there I would say go to, uh, for example, Adobe has a lot of videos on how to use XD to do this or that, or Photoshop or Illustrator. It's so easy to learn things, but if you need something more structured, I would say General Assembly is one, um, mm -hmm. Lynda.com is another one that has great content. There's a lot of different options today where you can learn uh, UX design. It's, it's, it, anyone can learn it. That's, that's the, the biggest message here. Like, if you put the right effort there, there's no secret, it's just like a, a set of steps, uh, a different mindset. You have to build empathy with like, when you talk to people, when you learn about like being neutral, when you ask questions. There's a lot of like anthropologists, like uh, techniques that you can use, uh, but it's just like any other thing. Just spend the time there, watch videos, practice, and there's no secret. Yeah, and even to add on to that, I think having, making sure, I think a lot of designers can get kind of introverted and in their own little world but I think especially if you're going to transition into like a new career you have to make sure you go to events and talk to oh, people yeah. and kind of uh, get different people to like review, review your portfolio and um, or even review like how to position yourself and what to say on your LinkedIn and I think that's all really important because you're not going to get there on your own like no but everybody yeah there's always help. there's yeah. a, and there's always room from improvement for improvement even like like very 
good like experienced designers they are always learning they are always trying new things and that's mm. what makes design so interesting right and if you need to for example a platform to share your work as you as you you make progress learning you can use Behance you can post things there people can give you feedback and you go from there but um, yeah I would say just keep 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 doing it then anyone can learn it uh, and meetups is like for example another great way of like meeting people and, and sharing and learning all right guy from Peru David uh, is that all right Nang thanks Vicky I've been learning from Pluralsight also a great resource Daniel uh, Matt Matthias is uh, you will come but why would you want the XD file in PS in Photoshop I technically don't understand the question again if you want to create a mobile app that has very complex like for example Zynga right here they have very complex bitmaps for their UIs the, ga the their game UIs so they they do all that in Photoshop but all the interactions, all the reusable components, they live in XD. So you go to Photoshop for what's good for, and you use XD as a hub for UX design. I think they could explore. There's another question from Fabricio. Not a question. All right. Yeah, there's no way to export uh, an XD file into a PSD file. You have to, if you, if you have XD as a hub, you need complex vectors. You go to Illustrator, and then you copy that asset and you paste into XD and you keep editing it. Same for, for, for Sketch, you can copy assets from Sketch, you can copy as SVG and paste in XD. And then if you need uh, bitmaps, you can go to Photoshop, you can even go to the browser and drag an image from the browser right into XD and it, that also works. Um, do you have a paste in place? Because I notice sometimes if I copy things that will uh, paste like directly in the next artboard and then sometimes it won't mm, that's a good question it, you copy the artboard make sure you copy the element yeah I want both of these guys maybe cool. just only does one at a time no oh, no because you somehow you were selecting the artboard oh okay and then that's why I see and also that's another great, great point like because you have those those two elements in all the artboards, that could be an organism, that could be an element, that could be a component with mm -hmm. both. So another symbol, so a symbol with two symbols inside. Oh. Because now if you need to change like padding or something, you have to go to... I increment. should do that. I'll make another <laughs> symbol. <laughs> with both and you just drag it there, yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, and so I'm just kind of right now working on just making like a uniform navigation for everything. I'm nice. kind of feel like that's always the first thing I go to is to have some type of like navigation hamburger or search. Um, but it's really popular now to have like navigation at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of apps kind of have been using that. Um, I think it's closer to your finger, right? Like you don't have to go all the way there to tap or yeah, something. Reach yeah, reach all usability. the way. Yeah. yeah. But I still really like hamburger navigations because you can add like multiple things. So yeah, that's true. I always true. just kind of revert to that. I think I think the rule there is like if you need something that if you need a menu that's bigger than like five elements, then you go there, right? Because you make the the tab bar on the bottom super crowded if you have like six or seven or ten elements there. Totally. And this app I feel like is gonna be pretty beefy with <laughs> <laughs> with like specific things with hiking. So cool go in for the hamburger nav another thing that you can do like just as a, as a another tip because you have that black as a main color mm. you can select the artboard or an element like click on its title to select the artboard uh, here on the title cool and then you can click on the plus here and it'll give you all the colors that are used in that artboard oh nice and then this black is also used in different places so if you right click on the black there and you choose edit Let's say you, you jump to a red. Just I'm not saying it's going to be red, but let's say you jump to a red here. It's going to change everywhere. Oh, cool. So that's a great way for you to manage in document all the colors. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, 
my god why did it take that long to get there it's we're talking and we're, <laughs> we're bringing your feedback as we build it uh xd5 is basically a zip archive with a web page inside it uh that's 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 not accurate and uh there's the file format is changing a lot if you if you see what's in there you see it's a lot, a lot of JSONs, a lot of vector information uh and we're doing the work to open up xd for extensibility so we, in the future you'll be able to develop plugins for for uh, xd uh all right that's cool brazil brazil is massive there so many people from brazil <laughs> that's good Right, guys. Any other questions? Any other feedback for for her as as she designs this awesome app? Also, I feel like I could use a better tr trackpad. Oh, it's making me it's pretty slow. No, don't yeah. worry. Don't worry. <laughs> we have three days. We're gonna do an awesome app. Yeah, there's time. Yeah. <laughs> cool. There we go. You got the. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make symbols for all these. The good things about symbols is that you can you can do your work and then convert to a symbol, but the even like better thing with colors and character styles is that you can manage that after the fact, after you have them there. So you can create a color here or a character style here after mm. you have it done and then you can just globally within this document change it. Cool. Brazil on top of chat window, if you Isaac, uh, okay, no more questions. So if you have questions on XD, please let us know. Again, our feedback. Uh, another important thing: we're running a contest. So if you have time and if you want to participate you can create a prototype the theme is uh, shopping and if you share that prototype at least three screens here on, on on Twitter we're watching that and by the end of this in a little like in one hour we're gonna announce a winner and that winner will take one year CC subscription with all apps and that's awesome you want to talk about the content the yeah, let's let's do that. So that's the what we invite you to do. That's the shopping experience. Yeah, so this is this is a sample of the what we're trying for you to do. So create at least three screens uh, using XD and then create a prototype. That's Talon. Talon will be here today, right? Yeah. Cool. Talon is the lead designer on XD and then just create that prototype and then you go to the top right, you share, you create a link, then you can copy that link. You go on Twitter and you tweet that with hashtag Adobe Live. And by the end of this, in two hours, this session, we're going to give away a one year subscription. So good luck to everyone. Let's see if people are doing that already. All right, there's things there. All right, let's see this one from Joem. Very cool. Eight artboards. You can click here on the plus. You can go back and keep click there again. Then you can create an order. Very cool. He did it fast. Then you can go to the hamburger menu on the right. Go back to orders. Let's see the artboards here. And if you guys want, you can give him feedback. Just go here and say, let's go to the home and say, uh, let's see if I have feedback. Uh, can you please add some images <laughs> to make it richer? And then you can paint an artboard, let's say, make it more realistic, or like I would like to see some orders, or just, just a quick idea constructive feedback please don't take it the wrong way just to show you how you can give feedback to anyone then uh, there's let's see if there's more 
there's a project event management app Adobe Live, and I, again, don't forget to uh, add the link so so that we can see it. Trucky mobile app. Let's see this one. All right, you can sign up here. You can then get started. Get started. Let's then go back. Three screens. Cool. I want to see more, so please keep working on it. It looks a little, really nice. I really like the logo here. And if you can add more screens, that would be great. So you have like one hour. Great job here. Well, images in the background, nice contrast. Very cool. All right, let's see if there's more. There's one here, kush.on. Come in, very cool. And you can see list there. I'm sure you use the repeat grade, which is super powerful. I think you showed this one, did you? Yeah, you cool. share last time. Yeah, awesome. But they can keep sharing. Awesome, all right. Yeah, so if you already shared in a different session, just keep sharing. Share again. Cool, can we get back to it? Wonderful, how's it going? Good. I'm just kind of starting to build out, I guess, my symbols library and nice. um, getting some type of like uniform placement just for like headlines and um, kind of these are going to be tabs that will open up soon. Nice. So yeah, just playing around getting like a good basic so you're creating user flow. nice so you, you started on, on on paper then now you're transferring that thought to screen as a wireframe and then you're also creating symbols which is great for use, reusability right in the future you'll be able to consume that and change that and you change everything that's super cool awesome any feedback on her work any questions for her process wise <laughs> do you have any questions for them do you need help with anything mm. I feel like... Nice to meet you, Vicky. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> Show the link project to some users for testing. Okay, come... What you're saying, I guess, I mean, like, after, F, after everything is done, 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 and tested in XD, then what? Then I would say you hand it off to developers for, like, this is validated, we know the, the flow, we know user, users understand it, you didn't spend time building that and changing it because that would be super expensive, and now you hand it off to developers. Developers can go to XD, or you as a designer can give them assets, and very soon you'll be able to share a link to developers and they'll be able to grab colors, measurements, and they'll make that job easier. Selena is asking, how does XD work with Adobe Experience Manager? Uh, that's a good question. I think there's no direct workflow for now, but if you can bring those assets into Photoshop, very soon you'll be able to bring them into XD from Photoshop uh, via Creative Cloud Libraries. R Studio Creati Creativo, hello, when we gonna get a guide marker like Photoshop does? Mm, ruler, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we already <laughs> talked about yeah, you can. That you, that's, that's great feedback. Uh, again, we're building XD from scratch for the last two years. There's a lot to do. We know those features are, are required and we'll get there but for now as a workaround you can draw a line in, as a guide and just lock it right click lock and then everything that you design will snap to it uh, all right yeah Julia is sharing a, a help page with shortcuts useful shortcuts for XD uh, you can you can learn a lot that's great thanks thanks Julia for sharing that in the chat um, is there a way to record during testing? Cartier. Great question. So, if you're really doing user testing, 
you can do it let's say it's a website you can totally present a, a an xd web link to a person and they can test it and you can you can use different software to record that or even a camera if you want to or watch that and take notes watching is great and there's another way for for you to capture that let's say you're using uh, uh, an, an iPhone to to test a mobile app in XD if you're using a Mac you can use USB to connect your Mac to your phone and if you have XD open and if you have XD in on your phone as a the, the companion app on XD all the changes you make in XD are displayed in real time here on the mobile app and then as soon as you unplug the phone the latest design remains cached so that you can take the prototype and do some real user testing and again you can watch you can take notes you can film that and if you're on Windows and we're still doing the work to, to get the USB transferring but for both Mac and Windows another option is to host your XD file in Creative Cloud files so if you go to the CC app and you go to files and you open there's a folder in your computer and if you place your XD document there you'll be able to load them from your mobile app, iOS or Android, and also do some real user testing. I hope that answers your question. Uh, cool. And if you have additional feedback, again, you can go to adobexd.uservoice.com, upvote on existing feature requests, or even file a bug if you find one and the team is always there. Cool. Thanks for sharing your, your work, Fabricio. When, uh, GUI designer, when will Zeppelin support be given? Yeah, we know a lot of designers, great designers use tools like Zeppelin, AvoCode uh, to hand it off to developers. And we're investigating a lot in terms of extensibility, how we can open up extensibility for XT. And once that's in place, tools like Zeppelin, AvoCode will be able to framer, will be able to connect to XD and go from there. So that's that work is uh, the investigation is taking place and we'll hear more soon. Pr Pranava, Pr Pranav Mirani is asking, how does Adobe experience design compare to Sketch? Oh, that's that's a great question. I think Sketch is a great tool for for design and XD is a great tool for design prototype and share and XD if you if you if you play with both like you can you can notice up front that XD is way faster so if you care about speed and performance XD is way faster not only that but file size is also better uh, for example if you go to the material design uh, website and you you see the files that are there you can download one from from for first shop you can download one for for XD you can download one for sketch the one for XD is 10 times smaller than the one for sketch so not only speed in terms of like handling hundreds of artboards but also file size so you can share those files in slack and uh, very easily you can share those files so there are benefits of course it doesn't have all the features that sketch has today we're building a lot of features and delivering value as we speak but if you care about speed uh, and if there's something that's not in XD and you, you really need that, you can copy from Sketch and paste it into XD. I hope that answers your question. Cool. How does XD compare to Azure? Yeah, Azure is a great tool also for prototyping. Uh, I think XD brings a lot of ease. It's super easy to use. It can wire, it can wire screens together very easily, just drag a wire and things are connected. There's a lot of improvements that we still need to do on prototyping, but now that we have Windows and Mac aligned and they have the same features, you'll be seeing a lot more features landing in XD moving forward. Every month, we're gonna deliver a new update with more and more value, and hopefully, if we do a good job, you'll be able to use it. Cool, Mat Matthias is asking password protection for shared prototypes. Also mm -hmm. a big one on enterprise. And uh, again, we're doing the work to make it happen. So it's just a matter of time. How's it going? Good. Any burning questions? Any help um, from? 
Yeah, from them. I had one. So how do you change like a previous artboard that you've already kind of made? Because I was wanting to just expand it. Oh, make it higher? Make it longer. Yeah, so just go to the artboard title, select the artboard title. Mm -hmm. Just one click, so you're not changing the title. Yeah, and now you can click here uh, and expand. When you do that, you'll notice there's a dashed line there, the blue line, that's representing the fold. So mm. that's where the scrolling starts. So if you click on the play button there to, to see your prototype running, you can now scroll. <gasps> that's so nice. And if you have your Ooh. phone connected, that will also scroll on the phone. And if you need to adjust where the fold is, you can go to the property inspector there on the right, and you can see here, yeah, you can change where it's positioned, viewport height. Oh, okay. Now it's at that level, but if you want to make it higher or slower, so let's say oh you have man. a website, you can change it there, yeah. That's really nice. I feel like you guys have a lot more, like, use kind of more intuitive no, we, solutions. We, again, one of our guiding principles is lightweight and approachable. So we want to make it as easy as possible for a beginner or a very experienced designer to succeed in XD. Yeah, it's pretty. I like it a lot. And everything, like when I paste, everything just pastes in place automatically, yeah. which is nice. Cool. Yeah, and again, you can bring things from Illustrator, from Photoshop, or even Sketch. Just copy and paste. All right. Thanks. Thanks for the great questions. Uh, all right. Any other questions, guys? Let's let's just talk about the contest that we're, we're having. So again, if you have a prototype created, if you want to participate, you can create a prototype. The theme is shopping, and just create a three screen, at least three screens as a prototype. Share on Twitter using the hashtag. Adobe Live, and we'll be watching and seeing if there's content being there. So let's see. All right, Ivan just shared one. Can I can I jump to my to my screen just to check his prototype? Awesome. Thanks, Paul, the cameraman, the computer man, the mm. host, the everything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, so here is, oh, another, another tip that I'd like to show you. Let's see if I remember this. So here, if I click on an area, I'm, I'm accessing the, the web link. And if I click on an area that's not interactive, the, the hotspots highlight. And one thing that you can do is go to the end of your link and you can say question mark hints off and now oh, it's not hints off it's hints equals off there we go so if you add that to the end of your link you can then hide the, the, the hotspots if you want to hide the hotspots Cool. So let me bring that back. Now I have hotspots. I know where to click. This is French, right? I think. I don't know. <laughs> our, one, our French guy's gone. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, Both of them, actually. <laughs> we should have fought earlier. There's more than one. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good, awesome. And then there's this one, and you get to the app. Awesome, so this is a, an app design, very cool. Thanks for sharing. Cool, can we get back to our design? Oh, yeah. Enter. Cool. I see the wireframes. Coming together. Yeah. Very slowly, but surely. I'm still thinking through a lot of, like, all the different things I want, so that's why it's going super slow, but um, I feel like once this is all done, everything just picks it's up. It's the main like structure of your app, right? Like how the user will interact. Very good, very good. Totally, yeah. So, awesome. And I'm pretty excited. I love this um, 
play feature. <laughs> I just keep doing it for fun. <laughs> you can have it on, a, like, if you have a second monitor, you can have that there and always oh. open, and then you can just do work and see that happening. So well, all the changes you make on your canvas, for example, if you click on this, on the circle, and you move it around, mm. just move the circle. It will automatically. In real time. And if you have your phone connected, it does the same thing mm. via USB. That's pretty cool. I wish I had a second screen now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Diana Araujo, how to make question because I already made one. Keep asking. We're here to answer. Let's see, I just want to know if XD has a way to export the whole flow. Uh, I, I, you mean like all the artboards in, in one workflow? One, th one workaround for that is you can go to your work, to your project, and you do command zero, then you see all the artboards. Then you jump, can, can, I, can I show my screen? Yeah, buddy. So here I have a great project created by Telepathy. The guys in San Diego that were here a while ago. You can jump to prototype mode. Then you can do command zero to see all the artboards. Then you do command A to see all the wires you have in place. And here would like take a screenshot or something. I know it's not ideal, but that's the short term workaround. Thanks, bro. Makes sense though. Cool. Juan is asking, when XD will have responsive layouts and responsive symbols? Yeah, we're doing the work for uh, adaptive and responsive design. We're investigating a lot of different options, testing some early prototypes. And if you have feedback on that, you can go to user voice, adobexd.uservoice.com. The PMs are always there. They're checking user voice. They're, they're hearing your feedback. So you can go to that one specifically and add your comments or ask questions. Hoyo, the PM on that, uh, is actively uh, searching for, for more feedback and validation, so that's happening. All right, let's see if there's more questions. Joam, does the shared link to the XD project update immediately when you change something to the design? The answer is no because the same way you can create one link, you can create a different link, a, a second, a third link. So you can, you need to reshare, you need to republish. And when you do that, you can update the existing link or you can create a new link. So that's totally up to you. Uh, amazing prototype work, nice. Carlton. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How great would be if XD support full functioning HT. I, I assume it's HTML, CSS files. Yeah, I, I mean, like we learned a long time ago that developers don't like code that's pre-written. And uh, I know it helps a lot of people that don't, don't know how to code. We have a great tool for that called Adobe Muse and we have an expert here. Uh, but if you really want to work with very specific uh, kinds of development teams. For example, they, they're using Angular or React. You don't want to give them code. You want to give them assets. And from the assets, they, they, they'll pick the framework they want and go from there. So that's the strategy. Is X, uh, Christopher is asking, is XD still lacking with the Windows version features or has it finally removed more, uh, received more functionality? Last time I checked, layers or something. Yeah, XD on Mac and Windows reached parity, so you can do the same things on both. There are only two things that are not there yet. One is on Windows, you still cannot record a prototype as a video, but you can you can use the Windows uh, Windows apps to record the screen. So that's that there there is a workaround for that, and there's no support for USB on Windows. So if you have your iOS or Android device running Adobe XD and you connect via USB, that doesn't work. The workaround for that is hosting your files, your XD files in Creative Cloud files. So you can, in your computer, you have 
a directory called Creative Cloud Files, and you just place your XD document there, and you'll be able to load them from your mobile app. And then you can do some user testing, and the same thing that you have running on your computer will be available there in XD on the phone. So that's the only thing. Everything else is the same, is available on both. Is there a way to like change some of these shapes or do, is there like points where I can yeah. grab? Double click. Oops. Uh, and now you're editing the path. So you can, if you want to get rid of the handles, you double click on the anchor point and the handles go away. And if Ooh, you double click, they, okay. they get back. So that's like the command C tool, I see. That's awesome. Yeah, you can you can if you need to add an anchor point, you just hover the edge and you can Oh, uh, and I'll take So you don't need multiple tools, it's just one tool that's simple but very powerful. Wow, that's nice. All right. Yeah, so then I was saying that the only thing you cannot do is live preview. And that's true. Uh, Leandro is asking, how do I use Bootstrap, Material Design, Design Grid? Um, we're working on a feature called Layout Grid, and, and uh, until it's it's out there, you have to create a system for that. So one workaround that I see some people doing, can I show my screen, for example? For example, we're working with boosted boards a crazy awesome startup here in San Francisco. They built this electric skateboard and you see a lot of skateboards like here with the orange wheels in San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> and they used XD to design a new piece of their website and they used a grid, a layout grid here. And the way they did it, this is locked, but you can see it's a repeat grid that's in the back with transparency, with opacity, and you just lock it and then things stay preserved, and then you can design on top of it. So if you can do that same behavior from material design or bootstrap, you can achieve that. And if you end up sharing that as an XD file, please uh, add the hashtag Adobe XD and we can reshare so more people can, can benefit from that. Oh, nice, so you're doing the pin icon, awesome. Yeah, I just made a quick nice. icon. And it's then already a symbol, that's beautiful. Yeah. Building Look at your pattern, pattern library there. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Hey, well, <laughs> while you're here, so how do I, um, how would I like, is there a way to take a line and just kind of like bend it? Yeah. Or is it a point? Double I click to get the handle. I am. Oh, uh, is that a line? Yeah, select the, pen tool. Pen. select the pen tool here. Let's see. That's a good question. Uh, now you draw. Yeah, there you go. There is a there is a line there somewhere. What did it just do? Yeah. I'm doing shortcuts. Oh I don't God. even realize. You okay. Create an artboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see here. Let me let me try on a new file. I know what you're saying. So you can yeah. you can do like this. You can do like this. Mm -hmm. Then the other one would be like this. Oh yeah, how do you do that? So you select the pen tool, uh -huh. and then you drag this way. You can hold shift to make it perfect. And then the other one would be like that. Just like in Photoshop. Oh, okay. I just can't get the curve, that's all. So let, let us start from scratch. You can delete that. There Wait, you go. but now it did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, you can, you can use that one. Yeah. Okay. And I can double click to enter that object and change the anchor points. Got it. Perfect. Sweet. I probably shouldn't get too hung up on this though. No, that's fine. Since it's just low, low fi. But because you're using symbols, I think it's a great opportunity to like in the future just change the symbol and make it the high fi version of it. So it's that's true. Yeah. yeah. Place everything. Everything. And I can add like multiple points. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, James is saying that you can use UI kits 
from the f the file menu. That's true. And you have an Apple one. You have you can go to file or get UI kits Apple, and, and it takes you to the website. So you can download that the UI kit from Apple, the official one from Apple that comes with the fonts, San Francisco fonts, and a lot of guidance. You can also use the Microsoft one and the Material Design one. And again, the Material Design one is insanely well done. It's two megabytes. Whoa. All the, the components, two megabytes. I bet. I keep. Cool. All right, Vicky is asking, could uh, could I export files, XD files to Microsoft Visual Studio? Uh, not yet. I think when extensibility is in place, people will develop plugins to make it happen. But for now, it's, you, the, the, the asset export, uh, exporting will have to be manual. If is asking, are sticky objects still in the backlog? Yes, we're doing the work for it. There's a lot of moving pieces there. Uh, we, we validated the, the approach. I think we validated the approach that we we'll move forward with. And instead of telling this guy is fixed or that guy is fixed, we're going to enable designers to design viewports. So the same way you can create a, a, a repeat grid, you'll be able to define a viewport. And then if you double click, you edit things inside the viewport. And everything that's out of that viewport remains fixed. So that's the latest thinking that I saw. Uh, we might change that a little bit, but that's that's where things were, were going. And you can go to user voice, Adobe XD user voice com, add your feedback there, and people from the team will give you uh, feedback when things change. Awesome. Does XD support 3D files dot OBJ, for example? Not yet, but there's a tool that Adobe is working on. I don't know if Paul wants to talk about it. Oh yeah, no, Project Felix. Project we had Fe a stream on it before, so we'll allow you to take in um, OBJ files and composite them in the scene. And then you can, if, if they go to Photoshop somehow, then very soon in XT you'll be able to bring that Photoshop work as a bitmap to your Creative Cloud library. And you can, not yet, but very soon you'll be able to consume that in XT. So drag it from your Creative Cloud libraries uh, panel in XT. And the cool thing is if you change that in Photoshop, you will update in XT. When's that coming? <laughs> Soon, very soon, very soon. Yeah. I'm sure somebody. Maybe, maybe I can do. Maybe I can do a sneak of it uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get the right build. Cool. All right, and Gus is posting the link to Project Felix. You can go there, and another amazing tool that's that's coming up. All right. Katarina, I am new to UX. How and what do you send the developer once you are finished with the prototype? Yeah, I answered that question before. I think the, the current path that you have to take is you need to provide your developer uh, the assets. So you can go to XD, you can go to File Export, and then there you can use different presets for iOS, for web. Web, for example, gives you 1x and 2x assets. Android gives you all the assets. If you pick the Android presets, it gives you all the assets that the Android platform requires. That's one way of giving developers the assets. Very soon, you'll be able to generate a link for developers, uh, just like you create a web link for prototypes. You can create. A, you will be able to create a web link uh, for design specs. So developers will not need to have XD, and they can. They'll be able to extract measurements colors, text, and that. We demoed that last year at Adobe Max, our big conference. That's actually happening again this year in Vegas in October. That'll be awesome. Hey. Are you going? Yeah. That would be amazing, <laughs> yeah. I'll be there. I've never been to a conference, an Adobe conference in Vegas, so hope I survive. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Me too. Yeah, we have a lot of great announcements there, and. Stay tuned, yeah. Max.adobe.com, another great thing. All right, back to the contest. 
Can I play the video? So if you wanted to participate, you can create at least three artboards, uh, a prototype with at least three screens. The theme is shopping, and there is a sample created by Tallinn. Just create some wires, connect the screens, then share that. Click on the top right to share online, create a web link, and with the link, just go, go once the link is there, you copy the link and you paste into Twitter, and you add the hashtag Adobe Live, and we'll be watching that, and by the end of this session, in less than 45 minutes, we'll be giving away a one-year CC all app subscription, which is amazing. Cool, look at you all adding the path and handles and yeah so i'm trying to good. figure out the easiest way to make like a long horizontal button yeah let me show you that so okay. delete that sorry it's okay delete, ask, just ask, you can ask and delete it. okay <laughs> then you select the rectangle tool up there the second tool it says and then you draw a rectangle like to represent your button mm. And then you click on those edges, like the, the little circles. Oh, just like and Illustrator. Okay. Yeah, just like <laughs> Illustrator, that's true. Cool. And if you want like a specific corner, you can hold Option as you do that. So just that corner, oh. then you're changing changes. Let me try. It's all, yeah. I'm still going back to, hold on. If you do that, it's going to break the rectangle functionality, but that's fine. Oh. It's going to convert it to a path. What do you want to do? I was just gonna try that. A oh, one corner, so yeah. go, you'll go back, ask to exit. Then you click on this guy, mm -hmm. and make it bigger, like expand to yeah, like that. And then now release, because now you have access to the four points because they were all combined into one. Ah. Now you select one and you hold Option, and if you move it, it's, it's just cha one. changing just that corner. That's now, of course, you can go to the property inspector there and change things manually if you mm. want to. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy here. <laughs> the second, yeah, there you go. You oh. just click there and then you can add them individually as well. Oh, nice. Okay. Rounded corners, yes, Christoph. Um, all right. And Gus just posted another contest that's going on that's longer. If you share something with hashtag make it impactful. There's a link that Gus can post and you can participate there as well. Uh, Junius is asking, can we set custom shortcuts for like keyboard shortcuts just like Photoshop did? Not yet, but that's in the roadmap. Mm, that's <laughs> nice. And you can go to adobexd.uservoice.com <clears throat> and add to that thread. And if you vote on that feature, that feature request as soon as it lands you get an email saying that feature status changed all right Tiffany is asking when I try to install XD on Windows 10 it says I need the anniversary version yeah XD works uh, on Windows 10 anniversary edition only and and above new ones so you need to update as well we're using a lot of the new functionality that, that's available on Windows 10 and we're doing this work to make it f future proof is it possible to use GIF in XD the answer the, the short answer is not yet uh, and if you need that you can upvote the feature in user voice Adobe XD user voice.com provide some feedback there as well the feature name is I guess uh, support for video and GIF so you can uh, create some animation so that's that's in the backlog and hopefully the team will get back to it as as it makes it uh, as you guys tell tell us we need you need that uh, Tayana is asking does the XD do detailed prototype with many conditions not yet uh, for now if you need to create uh, variations let's say it's a it's a quiz and there's one right answer and three wrong answers you have to have uh, the three wrong ans answers going to the the, the, the the wrong artboard, like the wrong message artboard, and the, the correct one going to the correct artboard. So you have to fake that somehow, but uh, that's also in the roadmap, and we know a lot of companies need that, especially like in the future when we support tax fields in prototypes, 
to use that information to make decisions and to define different flows. So that's in the roadmap. We just have to get to it. So that's that will happen eventually. How's it going? Good. Look at that. Yeah. A more. It's coming out slowly. Oh, All I right. should make. We have like 40 minutes left for this Ooh. first session. We did a lot of progress. Yeah, only four screens, but no, but it's that's like good. you transfer. You're transferring everything that's on your notepad to your wireframe mm. in XD. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, building this sucker notes. out. <laughs> you like have some notes there and the pasteboard. The yeah, pasteboard. it's going good. Cool. Oh, I know. It's, I know there's some shortcut, or I've heard you guys have a shortcut to like center within an artboard. Uh, yes, you know? go to... Or where's uh, all the shortcuts I can find? You can go to the, the menu, so select the, uh, the element. Mm -hmm. Select the, you want to center that one, right? Mm -hmm. So you can, f for if, if you select just one element or a group, just one group, and you use the alignment tools there, it's going to align in relation to the artboard. Will it, though? Because it's a little off because of one pixel yeah. Yeah. because the 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 size is not like ma mathematically it's not like fitting, perfect but yeah yeah um what you can do to but that's the shortcut will do the same thing and okay. if you if you hover there you see the shortcut if you hover the button there. oh nice oh okay yeah that's cool. Why don't all the other <laughs> <laughs> Adobe programs do that? That's good feedback. So yeah, yeah. That's, that's the other teams too. That's great. Huh. Cool. Thanks, Victoria. Amazing XD website. Gus is asking like XD is not available on Windows Seven. Yeah, unfortunately, only on Windows Ten Anniversary Edition and the, the new ones uh, because of a lot of the yeah, Mike. Thanks for answering that, Mike. Um, just Windows 10 Anniversary Edition and above. Uh, all right. Always, can we develop any kind of professional apps on XT? Of course. Uh, we we have companies like um, Airbnb, and we we're doing work with Starbucks and all these different companies that starting to use XD more and more to develop their 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 projects, their their apps. So you can definitely use XD for professional, high definite high fidelity designs. Create that your prototypes and then export things for your developers. Totally. Uh, Joseph, okay, everyone, calm down. I'm here. <laughs> Vicky, uh, older version is not working. Why? I have update four months ago. Yeah, so because we ship every month, XD has a new update every month. We had uh, a time bomb that expires, I think, at every 40, 40 days, 45 days, just to make sure you have access to the latest. And because also like the file format is also evolving, we don't want you to face problems with older versions trying to open new files. So yeah, you need to update, but it's very easy. Just go to your Creative Cloud app and update there. Super easy. All right, let's see. We are starting to use here to make UX for mobile games in Vancouver, Tayana. Awesome, that's great to hear. And if you have feedback as you develop that, I was telling a story before that Zynga, right here in San Francisco, they also have uh, very complex like games with complex bitmaps and they use that in Photoshop and they bring that bitmap to XD. Now today you have to do that uh, manually but very soon you'll be able to create a bitmap in your Creative Cloud library and bring that to XD and if you change that item in Photoshop you'll update in XD. So that's the next update that's coming later and we're really excited with that. Andrea is asking, can you copy the CSS attributes from an object? Not yet. Um, a lot of the elements in XD, they follow the CSS uh, model, like the, the, the order of the rounded corners and all that. But for now, you, you, you have to go manually and see the values, see the numbers. When we have design specs available later, you'll be able to see measurements from a web link 
and eventually the next step would be create very simple CSS that you could uh, you'll be able to consume in your code. Uh, but again, we don't want to we want to make it very clear that XD is not going to generate code, and it's a tool for designers creating the designs, high fidelity designs, wireframes. When the high fidelity design is there, or even the, the wireframe, you can create prototypes. Then you can share, get the feedback, test the flow, test the app, the website, then go back to our designs, make all the changes, try different flows, and then go back, share again. So this quick iteration in order to, to save time, save, save money, right? You don't want to build all that in code and then discover that's not the right thing to do. So XT gives you that iteration flow and uh, helps you fail sooner to succeed sooner as well. Oh, nice. Yeah. There. Well, I was trying to make some sort of star for ratings, mm -hmm. but um, also could I make one? Is there like a way to... Uh, for now, f stars, yeah, we don't have complex polygons. You, you, you could try to combine triangles and make them as a, as a, like a blended vector, but e the, the best approach is like, if you can do one in, X in Illustrator, you can copy and paste into XD. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Or I don't know where you brought that from, but sketch or something, just right click, copy SVG and paste into XD. Okay. Nice. All right, let's see here. Uh, Marisa, thank you. The no oh, the, 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 the Noun project is also very cool. So can I share my screen very quickly? So one thing that I do sometimes, I don't know if you use the, the Noun project. That's what I just used. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's that there's a little thing there. So I don't think I, yeah, I don't have it here. But you, can, can I show it? Can you call yeah. it again? The Noun um, project. Can I go back to her screen, please? I was just there. Oh, you downloaded it from the website. Yeah. All right. You do, you don't have the app there, right? The, the Noun Project no. app. Yeah. If you have on a desktop, you can select, like you can search for star, get the star. Then you can right click, copy SVG, and paste to into XD. So that mm. remains editable. I was going to show that, but this computer that I just got doesn't have it yet. Hmm. All right. Can you please, uh, someone is asking, can you please give me a class with Adobe Muse? <laughs> That's a job for Paul Tranny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> job for another stream. Yeah. All right, uh, James, try the iOS UI kit. I'm sure there's a feedback screen there's with Star. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. Great tip, go to file. Oh. Do you have the iOS UI kit? I think I actually, hold on. I haven't looked through them. There might be a star there. But I... Oh, that's the Google one, but maybe there's a star yeah. there somewhere. Maybe icons here for rating. Oh, yeah, maybe. Is there a star there? Hearts will work, too. Yeah, hearts, yeah. I just want Just some. copy that and paste. Thanks for the tip, James. Great tip. The UI kits are available for iOS, Android, Microsoft. There's a lot of, like... Nice UI kits created outside of that uh, for wireframes, for example. Uh, Platforma is one that I really like. Very rich, lots of cool things. And we released one in XD. So let me see if I find it. XD UI kit wireframes. So if I find it. Some B hands. Yeah. Can I can I show my screen? So you can go to behance.net and search for wires or and then Adobe XD. And here you can download this great kit. And if you're doing wireframes, let me show you what it is. Downloads. Where is it? But again, you get the idea here. Um, can you switch to her computer just if I f I'll try to find this, please? Thank you. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. So mobile, let me open that. Let me switch my computer now. So this is the one that, if I download it from there, you can see this is for web. There's one for mobile, one for web. And here you have like lots of elements. So you mm. can have footers and colors and icons. Uh, no star here, but uh, the heart is there. Uh, you have a lot of great elements, for example, cards that you can reuse. And if you have, if you're trying to define a flow, mm. you can copy this connectors and just use them to define a flow. Nice. Uh, you have templates, like for example, for a landing page, for portfolios, forms, a lot of like great things and like for forms, for payments, and you just copy and paste. There's a lot of like symbols here that you can reuse as well. Mm. And yeah, this is available for free. You can and go which to one was that? Oh, this is the web hand. one. Yeah, Behance. It's the one yes. for Adobe XD. Maybe we can try that tomorrow if you want to kind yeah. of use things on top of your structure. Yeah, and start building it out. Yeah. Right. It has 170 mobile templates, 90 web <laughs> templates, 240 components, 178 customizable icons. Wow. Very useful. Thank you. And I think uh, Gus can paste that link in the chat too. All right, let's see how the contest is going. Let me go back to Twitter and see if more people shared prototypes. All right, can I see my screen very quickly? This is a very cool one, so let's see. Javier did this one. Where is it? Uh, I just opened it. Let me do that again. I'll click here. This is one with gradient. Look at that. This is really pretty and Ooh. functions really well. I think like there's a card and I can see a grid there in place. Great job on making that grid. Let's see if there's a prototype. You can see matches played. Oh, very rich interactions here you can see more information head to head very cool mm. oh my god i'm impressed yeah very very cool prototype opponent wait so it's the oh gotcha i was trying to figure out what it is it's for uh tennis players i think uh, like trading cards yeah <laughs> let's see yeah information about players match players Again, great prototype, but again, the theme for our little contest is shopping. So uh. let's see this other one, go kart. Loading, loading. Oh, nice! Look at that. There's a scrollable area here. Nice phones. A section, three screens. Very cool. I'll leave things open here. Let me close this. Prototype. I'll close this one because it looks amazing, but it's not uh, really targeting the theme. You also have this one that was shared before, but this is also more like a nap, not like a real shopping experience. Clash on, this was shared before. You could shop here. And again, I'm seeing the hotspots here, but if you're sharing a prototype for user testing, just again, as a tip, you can do question mark, hints equals off in the end. And then if you do that, it's gonna load the same thing, but without the hotspots, just if you wanna do like real user testing. Tranquil, let's see if this one is updated somehow. Cool, I'll leave it open. Let's see if we have more. My update is Shop It Shopping App for Adobe Live. Casely. Very cool. You can see you can access the menu there. You can search for apartment. Scrolls well. You can go back. You can see information about one specific one there. Very cool. Very well done. And you can scroll through the screens here. Awesome job. 
Occasionally. <laughs> Let's see here that we saw that one before. This is. Um, I'll click here for us to check. Again, I left my, my feedback there and I showed he could. I don't know where we need screen, so he created a new one. Very cool. More like a wireframe for structure. Good job there. And then portfolio. This is that, that app that we mentioned. There's one here from Anvi. Let's see. Ticket sauce. Wow, very cool. You have your items. Manage. It's a very complex one. I, I mean, like, there's like 16 different screens here, and you can see it's really well done. Canav. For your hamburger menu there. Ooh, yeah, I like the. Or oh, the transition that he created. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. That's true. Let's see here. It's a hard, it's a hard one. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna make the decision. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Oh, there's also like QR code re reader. Awesome. All right, I think that's it for now. Good prototype. Yeah, well, you still have 25 minutes, 24 minutes. So please, if you wanna participate, can you show the video again? If you wanna participate, just create one app one prototype in XD, at least three screens, the theme is shopping, and then wire the screens together, create a prototype, then you can play, test if everything is working, then you can go to the share online button on the right, top right, create a link. It's gonna create a link with your prototype to be reviewed by anyone that has access to the link. Then you can copy that link, you can go to Twitter and tweet, with hashtag Adobe Live, that link that you created for us to see. And once it's there, you're gonna be one of the contestants here for a one year CC all app subscription. Awesome opportunity. All right, cool, back to the chat. Let's see here, Nirai, Niral. Do you have a way to use Zeppelin or similar tools for creating red lines with XD? Not yet. We're working on a, on a feature called Design Specs or Developer Handoff that we'll learn later. And we demoed that last year at Adobe Max so we can have a sense where, of where things are going, where a developer will be able to access a link and then uh, extract measurement, colors, text from the link. Kind of redlining, on-demand redlining. Uh, all right. Damien, I have a question. Go ahead. Could you copy an SVG from the web and paste it in somehow? If there was an SVG out on a web page? If you can place SVG, if you can put SVG on the clipboard, then yes. But I don't know if that's possible. Depending, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure that out. And it's depending on how they use the SVG on the site. Yeah. I think it has to go on the, play, on the pasteboard. Once it's on the pasteboard, then you can play, paste the next thing. The clipboard, sorry, clipboard. All right. For example, if you're using the noun project, you can search for an icon, then right click copy SVG and paste into XD. Okay, cool. One thing that you can do in browsers, you can drag bitmaps. So if you have a bitmap on a, in a web page, you can drag from that page to XD. But I don't know how you do that with uh, SVG. Let's try it out. SVG yeah, I tried that sample. earlier, but then I couldn't figure out how to like edit the actual SVG once it was into it. You can double click and enter. It's a vector like any other one. Oh, okay. Let yeah. me try again. Let's see here. I just, I'm searching for SVG sample. This is not the perfect one. Uh, images for SVG. Let's see this guy here. If I can see it as SVG, yeah. Yeah, so I just dropped one in, and like it doesn't really show the option for color or. Double change. click on it. 
It's probably coming as a bitmap. Yeah. Uh, Double click again. Oh, oh there you there go. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just that it doesn't have a fill there. Yeah. It's fully fully editable. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how you select something from a web browser. That's the thing. Maybe there's a plugin that allows you to select SVG from websites. Can I go back to the first screen? Perfect. Can you change? Her screen, yeah. yeah. Will it oh. change all the points too? What do you want to do? Could I edit like the different points? You would have to do one by one. Oh, okay. It would, I mean, what, what do you want? Do you want to make more like a star? I don't really need, I'm just playing now. I don't really need to work with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, you. the best suggestion for that because it's a more complex vector I would say like go to Illustrator do all the work there oh yeah and then copy and paste here I mean you can you can play with the delete anchor points and gotcha. change the shape okay all right we have 20 minutes left Woo. let's work like for 10 more minutes then we will announce a winner have a quick discussion and announce a winner. So let's see if there are more questions there on on the internet. Uh, Neural, great, thanks. Is there an ETA for the developer handoff feature soon? Uh, we're working on it. Um, we're planning to to announce it soon. That's all I can say. Sorry, Vicky. Could I export Illustrator symbols in XD? Mm, not yet. I think as we make more progress with connections, like integrations with Illustrator and Photoshop, things will start to be more clear. But for now, you have to copy and paste elements from Illustrator into XD, but then they come as a separate instance. Uh, all right, Fernando, is it possible to export animation transitions as assets? Not yet. You can you can record a prototype as you play with it using the preview window only on Mac for now uh, or using a different tool in the Windows on Windows to do that to record the screen and then you can share that as a video that's the closest thing for now Alex XD all capitals or X capital D lowercase I would say for us we call it XD all capitals that's how the app is there um, yeah, yeah. The logo, <laughs> the logo is different, yeah, but that's Adobe brand. Uh, hello, everyone. Hungran, will it be possible to f to the future to add videos again? Yes, we have that in the backlog. Support for videos and GIF. We're we're gonna get to it later, probably next year, and you can go to adobexd.uservoice.com to upvote on that specific feature request, just search for videos or GIFs, and there, as soon as that feature status change to let's say, feature needs more info, you get an email, and then you can comment on that thread so the PM team can, can, can grab your feedback. And when the feature lands, we'll change the, the label to feature completed, then you can go, go ahead and download XD uh, and, and use that feature. Ruben, can we have fixed uh, items on the prototype? Again, that's also a big one. You can go to adobexg.uservoice.com and search for scrollable area. That's how we plan to support that. So instead of making you say, oh, this is fixed or that's fixed, the plan, the, 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 the short term plan maybe will change, but the, 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 the last time I saw it, you'll be able to define a scrollable area and just like you do the repeat grade, you'll be able to go inside and change what's inside. But then everything that's outside of that scrollable area will remain fixed. That's the current plan. And that's, that's, that's going to land next year as well. Uh, when are you guys getting all the features in Windows? Swamitra is asking. We have pretty much all the features. The only two features that are not there is recording a prototype as a video, but you can use a, another tool in Windows to do that and support for USB real-time preview. But everything else, Windows and Mac reached battery, so you can do the same things on both, even share the file and, and move, move, move forward. All right. Yes, you can create professional mobile apps and websites in Adobe XD. 
Nikita, the only reason why I still prefer Sketch is layers list. Are you guys planning to support that in the future? We have layers in XD in a very smart way. So we have contextual layers. So just go to the top, uh, the, sorry, the bottom left on XD and you can, you can access layers. You can move things around, you can access symbols, you can edit repeat grids from that. So very powerful. You can use, I was showing uh, Sally, you can edit an artboard name, for example, and hit tab to go through the next one or shift tab to go up. You can even add emojis to your layer names and make it colorful if you want to. But yeah. that's there, that's there already. All right, lots of questions. What is the major difference between XD and Sketch? I answered that before. My my personal opinion, not only because I work at Adobe, not really because I work at Adobe, but as, as a user, XD is a lot faster. So if you care about performance and speed and stable, and uh, for example, uh, if you go to a project that has hundreds of, art, hundreds of artboards, things just work. It, it's super fast, way faster in XD. And also file size. For example, the material design UI kit, the official one, created in partnership with Google, the one for XD is 10 times smaller than the one created for Sketch. 10 times. It's two megabytes, all the components. Uh, so that's another thing. So if you care about speed and file size, those are two things. And of course, there's a lot, of, a lot more features in Sketch, but uh, this is not a feature race. We're really trying to deliver value every month. And uh, if we do a good job, you use the tool. In, the short-term transition plan if you want to go in like test xd you can you can right click on things in sketch copy svg and paste into xd and um, keep working there all right yeah command y is also a shortcut to show thanks kathy uh vicky is also asking if you can, if you can use plugins in xd same as in uh, in photoshop not yet but we're doing all the investigation to open up for accessibility soon as well all right we have 15 minutes you want to go through the candidates for the oh, yeah. cc winner Let's do it. all right can i switch to my screen here all right i think we have everyone all right so the first one that i have here is trucky this is a place where you can sign up this is more like the onboarding experience and this is it. So three R boards, you have that. So that's candidate number mm -hmm. one. Then Kashan, that was shared before. Let me go back to the first screen here. You can come in. I There's like their imagery a lot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It looks good. And then you can shop by item. Let's see which one was. You can shop by room. I was, I was showing a trick in XD. You can hide the hints if you want to, so I edit in the link question mark hints off so I can hide the, the hint so I remove oh. that so I know where to click in this case nice. and you see it's this one yeah. and you can buy you can see it check out candidate nice. number two all the way to check out go kart let's go back to the beginning here it loads and it keeps loading and it keeps Ooh. loading <laughs> and you have a place where you can see information about cell phones, mm. different models and prices. Let's see if there's more areas here for us to click. Yeah, that's it. Cool, shop it. Very cool. Nice. 20 screens here. You can Ooh. you can see a list, a, ma a hamburger item here, and then you can go to apartments. You can check this one. Oh, All cats. that information, and then you can add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> cat, cat, yeah, cat, yeah, cool. <laughs> it, that's that's hard to be, yeah. Cool. And also have more information. You can also search. Mm. Very cool. I like when the search bar is an overlay and you can still see all the content behind. Yeah. So you're not kicked out. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's that's a great point. So usability bonus great, great, on the search. Great UX. All right, this is, let's go back to this one. This is more like a wireframe, I, I guess. Nice. Uh, yeah. I provided feedback here, but the feedback is gone. He probably took that as a good feedback. <laughs> and here you can, let's also, I was also showing, let's see if there's interactions here. 
Oh, there, there you go. You can you can add, oh, create okay. a new order. Then here you can search as well. I mean, it would be awesome to see some images there, like as a real app. Mm. I think this is more like a structure first phase wireframe. Yeah. Just to architect the information. Yeah, it's thought through really well. Yeah. Oh, sure. nice. You ah, can sign. Good signature. <laughs> <laughs> Very comprehensive. A notification, paying with PayPal. Mm. Very cool. Awesome. The next one. Oh, this one has 16 screens. I don't know if it was created this morning, but it's really rich. Mm. You can have a hamburger item there. Yeah, good navigation. And then you can scroll here. You can manage items. Here you can see different times. Continue. Check out QR code. Very cool. Mm. Very comprehensive. Oh, and I like that it's a little ticket almost. <laughs> yeah, then. like a physical ticket. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Like a card representing a ticket. Wonderful. And that's it. So these are the contestant, content, contestants. So what's your pick? Uh, wait, okay, go back. <laughs> Tricky, three artboards. I don't remember. This was more like onboarding. Uh, I do like, I'm a big fan of onboarding. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> that's so important. I like, yeah, that's a nice one. I don't remember <laughs> looking through that one. It was just like three artboards for oh. onboarding. So we created the onboarding experience and a sign up. Nice. Like a login. Place. That looks good and clean. Uh, so it's that one and then. This one has seven cushion. artboards. That one cat. is nice. The cat. Uh, where is the it? The cat and the good imagery. Yeah, <laughs> shop by item. You can see lightning and you can buy. Very comprehensive as well. Yeah, and I like that they did the whole checkout process too. Mm -hmm. And then, and that was created as we speak. This mm -hmm. was loading, 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 and then a list of elements. So, good distribution there. Shop it. Oh, uh, that's the cat. That oh, that also has a cat. So, but that's they a different both one. have cats? But this is a different one. Yeah, this is oh, 20 man. artboards versus... <laughs> I've just become a cat person yeah. as of this year. <laughs> yeah, I can add... This is big. This is awesome. <laughs> and also, like, was created as we speak. Uh, this one, mm. the wireframe one that we mentioned. This one, the ticket one. That was good, too. Um, I think it's... Can I give a tie? Do I have uh, to pick... One. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait. It's between the cat one and then the checkout. It's the two cat ones. This one, Kashan yeah. and Shop It. Yeah. Mm. I oh, love this one, yeah. That one had the good search this one. navigation too, I think, right? I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That one. Molly the cat. Molly the cat. <laughs> Like Shop it. On is it's on Twitter? Yeah, I just need to get back to it. I'll find it. Where's the winner? Yeah, just put animals in your app, and yeah. you'll get my vote. <laughs> Let's find the winner here. I found it. K Kiz Kizli Neil. How do you pronounce this? Kizli. Kelsey? Kelsey. Sorry, Kelsey Niehaus. You're the winner. Awesome. Yeah, Kelsey. All right, guys. So that's it for us. We'll be back tomorrow with more of awesomeness there. And mm. thanks for watching. Thanks for all the great questions. Bye. Bye.